Hey everyone, I know it's been a, uh, a little bit since I've uploaded a video and I want to kind of um, satiate some people's kind of curiosity on the progress of the Thunderbolt 1000X and uh, kind of to kind of go through what I've gotten done so far on it and uh, really as to why a lot of my time has been kind of consumed um, away from the siren shop um, and pretty much been focused predominantly on this, which is pretty much why you haven't seen me really have anything in stock recently um it's pretty much all my time has pretty basically been going to this but i wanted to kind of take this time to give everyone a bit more of an in-depth view as to all the cool new features of it um and actually get into some of the details about the blower cabinet and um yeah essentially just a progress update so let's go ahead and uh, i'm gonna grab the camera and show you some of the uh, some of the more interesting things about it and i guess one of the things we can kind of start off with is as I had discussed and showed off kind of in a, uh, or mentioned at least in a previous video, is that the, the Thunderbolt 1000X can actually be rotor swapped. Um, and it's not something you have to really have to order from when I first really will bring them out, but this is something you actually can do yourself um, if you actually own the model. And as I had mentioned before, you pretty much just remove these four screws on the top and the one screw underneath hold, um, on the horn support. And the whole stator cap and projector actually comes off and you actually can go in there and swap the rotors on it. So what I have lined up right here, just to kind of illustrate that right now, is a single tone five port rotor. I've got a four five rotor, which is what you heard in the previous video I had done on it. As well as a suggestion from Snow Cube, which is a three five rotor, which is a very, very interesting sound. It's got a very, very low tone to it. And it will have other rotors coming out for it um, that will be available as well, such as 7.5, which is going to be a lot of fun to do. Um, as well as, a, again, a couple other rotor combinations or port combinations. But, uh, but yeah, so we'll go on and continue on with some of the more advancements that have actually occurred to it. I'll also go ahead and show off the blower cabinet. This is by no means a final design. This is pretty much, pretty much my own personal design. It, for some reason, missed putting the top of the shell right here, so it's got all the infill still visible. Of course, the supports for the pole, the air pipe, are a little different than what you would normally find on the on the Thunderbolt. But it does have the air vents in the front, so it can let air through it. It's pretty much an entirely sealed unit. It's made actually out of two separate sections because my printer is not big enough. And um, and yeah, so I'll go ahead and take this top off. So. This is something that I hadn't discussed before. I hadn't actually really gone through kind of what everything is doing in here. But I'll try to make it kind of brief. So right here, I have this just rigged up basically just to run the rotator, but it will actually be all self-contained and much cleaner than it is right here. But we have the gyro cap is what I'm calling it. This essentially is a mechanical capacitor. It's nothing super special. There's nothing, no advancement by any means. Essentially all this thing is doing is when you send power to this, it runs this motor, which will end up spinning up this this flywheel, which is in this casement, which then goes to this generator. And the reason why I have it have an actual separate generator on it is because I want to make sure that the wind up is proper as well. Because otherwise, if I had it hooked just into this motor, it would wind up really quick and then coast for a long time. So in order to do that, I basically have to have the entire chopper assembly ran off of this separate generator. And then right here, of course, is the actual centrifugal blower, not using a root style. I know people were asking me to do that in the comments. I'm not doing a root style. It's just, it's a, a fool's errand when it comes to 3D printing. Um, and I don't want to deal with the headache of something that I know is not going to, is just not going to work because I can't get the tolerances for it. So instead of doing this root style blower, a tried and true centrifugal blower right here, which I'll go ahead and show the other side of it in a second. This motor right here, is actually used to determine what type of blower is in it. So it has its own little dedicated speed controller which comes off the back of the blower. But essentially, this is essentially another chopper. So there's actually another rotor that's in there. It's right and directly in the air path so that as the air is leaving from the centrifugal blower, since it's not a root style blower which actually has specific pulses as the lobes actually spin around inside the casement that give basically a pulse of air as it rotates, since this is a centrifugal blower and the air is remain the airflow remains constant essentially as it's moving air through it there's no impulses added to the airstream so basically all this is doing is it's this is adding pulses back into the airstream to make it have some kind of a throatier sound 
um, which will make it sound somewhat like a, uh, you know, like whatever kind of blower you want, like a 6M, 5M, 4M, pretty much all the way through the line of blowers that were available. Um, I have mine set really, really slow right now. This is pretty, pretty much comparable to that of like a 6M. Um, but you can, that speed can be adjusted from this little potentiometer right here. And then there is the reverse side of that. So there is the actual impeller for the blower. This will have a screen on it. That's what this inlet, um, this inlet stack is for. It was basically is to put a, to mount an actual steel screen there to prevent stuff from getting sucked up into the blower and then in turn fed all the way up into the chopper because <laughs> then it'd be a real hassle to take it all apart. But I guess I can probably actually just take the siren off, the actual head. I'll take the head off and uh, turn the blower on. You can see that that, uh, that part does actually add some noise to the system. So let's see if I can actually get this off without destroying this head. Let's see what it sounds like. So you can see it sounds a bit like a 6M blower in that. And again, that can be tuned to actually sound like basically whatever blower I want. I'll go ahead and do that right now. All right, so there it is basically set for like a 6M. We'll speed it up a little bit. But yeah. That's just the blower, that's not the siren. I'll go ahead and bring it back to a 6M, which is what I prefer. Or at least close to a 6M. I had someone who was a, uh, who commented and says that, that, yeah, I was rotating a little fast, even though I had said literally in the same video that it didn't have a speed controller on it yet and uh, this is that speed controller so this is the speed controller that essentially dictates how fast the uh, the actual projector rotates um, right now i basically have it set for two rpm but it can go all the way up to basically eight rpm and a little bit even even a little bit faster than that um i think actually up to basically about 10 rpm but um I'm going to go ahead and show that off really quick, and you guys can see, I mean, it's just a rotating Thunderbolt, so it's nothing super, super serious, but that one is currently hooked up to just USB, but it won't be in the final. Because I'm lazy, and this is my own model, so I don't particularly care all that much. Um, but also, I'll go ahead and get a, a recording of what this sounds like when it's actually running with the blower and the uh, 5.6 chopper in it. And currently there actually is no delay. I don't have that delay, I don't have the, de the, the delay wired in yet so that the blower continues to run as the chopper is winding down. So basically I have it just straight hooked up to basically just to test it and run everything. Um, so essentially as soon as I cut power to it, the whole thing, the blower will wind down at the same time as the chopper. So you'll hear the pitch basically, you'll hear it essentially mute itself really quickly. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this all back together. I'll have a, I'm gonna set the chopper speed to something I kind of want, probably more like chopper level five what Federal recommends, and then we'll uh, we'll see what it sounds like. But this is gonna be with 5.6. All right, so let's go ahead and fire it up and see what it sounds like.
can think of that as a thunderbolt with a bad agistat, um, where there basically is no time delay between the blower dropping out and the chopper dropping out. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's do another weird one. This one was, uh, this is actually a port ratio that was thought up by Snowcube, and I'm really curious to see how this one sounds um, in with this setup with this blower on it. So we'll go ahead and see what it sounds like. It's gonna sound a little bit like a German one, which is gonna be kind of interesting to see. But, uh, but yeah, thank you to Snowcube for suggesting this uh, port ratio. Uh, I'll go ahead and put his channel down in the description down below, of course, for, uh, some more of his siren videos. I know he just brought out a uh, another one of his model sirens. Would be really cool if people would see. Uh, but let's go ahead and try this out. Yeah, that one is very, very, very low toned, and the uh, the kind of undertones it has really, really messes with your ears. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I have so far for the um, for the miniature Thunderbolt, uh, the Thunderbolt 1000 X. But uh, more videos will follow as that kind of progresses and as more things kind of get done to it. Um, it will be. I do intend on selling this one, um, not this one particularly, but the, I do intend on selling these models. Um, in the future, but uh, a follow-up video probably coming out sometime soon. Um, we'll kind of go over the idea behind that and kind of when those will be pretty much available, as well as kind of just some of the stuff that's going on with the channel. Um, so I hope that video kind of comes out to be a bit more introspective than this one. This is just kind of a test video. You guys get to see kind of what's been done. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, you guys really don't have to do that kind of stuff, it really, but it really helps out a lot. Um, let me know your feedback, let me know what you guys are thinking about it, and uh, I don't know, it keeps me motivated. It keeps me motivated to make more videos, make more stuff uh, pertaining to sirens. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone.